Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today in this important video lecture, I will discuss how to calculate width and depth of plinth beam. That's why because for normal residential building, most of the people I saw them, they don't have the structure design. So therefore, if you don't have the structure design, so how you can find or calculate the width and depth of plinth beam. So let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. As you can see guys, this is a beam. So for normal residential building, maybe from one to two story. Okay, what should be the depth of beam? And also its width. Guys, you can see this is the width and this is depth okay so how to calculate depth of beam and also its width right so this knowledge you can find in is 456 2000 okay the reference is is indian standard code 456 2000 you can find about this so let's get started with uh, uh, first of all depth of beam okay how to calculate depth of beam remember guys for this first of all we need as you can see this is one column and this is second column and at the top are at the bottom so for plane beam and also for top beam you can see this is a beam okay so here from here to here this is length or span which is l so we need to know the length okay for example i have the length which is five meters or 500 centimeter okay so what should be the depth of this beam for this span which is 5 meter okay so the formula is from is 456 2000 you can find the depth of foundation l by 20 l by 20 with this you can find so now let me put the value in this to find the depth of beam okay so you can see guys the length is 5 meter so put it here 5 meter but remember one thing guys if you have mega project so for mega project you need to calculate full structure load from this from that structure load you can find the width and depth of beam but this is just for normal residential building if you don't have the structure design so you can find with this formula which is from is 456 2000 so divide by 20 so when you do uh, 5 meter by 20 so you will get the value 20 uh, 0 0.25 meter okay so you will get this value or you can say 25 centimeter or 250 millimeter okay so I need depth of beam how much 250 mm okay so 250 mm or you can write here 25 centimeter so the depth should be 25 centimeter so now let me find its width what should be its width this is depth which is 25 centimeter especially for 5 meter length so to find the width okay so width of beam you can use the formula from is 456 2000 width of beam okay so the formula is depth which i have already found okay you can see which is 25 centimeter so divide by 1.5 okay so here guys uh, depth is 25 centimeter so you will write here 0 0.25 and divide by 1.5 okay or you can uh, write here 
25 uh, sorry 250 mm which you can see 0.25 when you convert it to centimeter so you will get the video 25 centimeter if you because in one centimeter we have uh, 10 millimeter so therefore uh, we required 250 mm depth of beam so 250 mm uh, divided by 1.5 so let me use calculator for this give me the, that one calculator so let me uh, do its calculation what should be the width of this beam okay so 250 divided by 1.5 1.5 okay so we required 166 millimeter okay 166.6 millimeter okay so guys say the required width of the beam should be say 170 millimeter okay or you can write here 17 centimeter so here the depth is 250 mm 250 mm and the width should be what one 70 millimeter okay guys so uh, these are from the reference uh, of 456 2000 but guys remember one thing the depth of the beam okay especially for normal residential building as i discussed these things the front of you but here uh, this is from uh, this formula which is uh, here but i recommend you also this is from is 456 2000 but if you want to increase the factor of safety especially for the building okay maybe the load will be increased in the future so for that the depth of the beam should not be less than in the case of one to two story okay so it should not be less than 300 mm remember this point okay 300 mm so the factor of safety is uh, very important so you can multiply with uh, uh, 250 or depth multiply okay when you get the video so depth should be also multiply with 1.5 or 1.3 then you will get the higher value okay so the depth of the beam should not be less than 300 millimeter and the width should not be less than 200 millimeter okay so the width should not be less than 200 this is the minimum okay especially minimum not for one story okay so minimum for one to two story okay as i discussed before so guys this is a topic which i have discussed the front of you hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye